Harry Kane is. Uh, let's go to Harry personally first. Like, he he's a he's a wonderful, wonderful human being. A really good guy. Really hard worker. Great pro. And we, once he once he gets his uh, you know sort of the late preseason in and he hits his form, he's going to score a load of goals. Uh, whether he's at Tottenham or whether he would go somewhere else. So as far as Harry himself, I'm not worried at all. When it comes to whether he was coming to stay, and I did a few interviews. Um, and when people ask me, and I meant what I said, and I'll stand by it again right now, the only person who dictates if somebody comes or goes at Tottenham is Daniel Levy. And Daniel Levy, uh, and people can criticize him or they can love him for it. One thing he does probably better than anybody else in world football is he keeps his assets on multiple-year contracts so then he can dictate when they go or when they stay. And if he didn't deem either the figure to be enough or he just simply did, would not sell him to another Premier League club, it wasn't going to happen. And Daniel won't leave sleep over it. There wouldn't have been long nights for him. It would have been simple discussions. Um, and I know because Harry Kane's such a, uh, a, a global star and he's obviously a, a national hero, it was, it was daily news um, that was coming out. But but I assure you, it was Danny Levy would have known exactly what he wanted to do from day one, and and that's what happens. And it, I watched it happen with Luka Modric. I watched it happen with with Gareth Bale. And if if there's one club that will not allow players to have the power when it comes to contractual disputes, it's Tottenham.